Now, if you listen and obey God, these blessings shall be yours. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. And we are looking at some of the responsibilities that we need to carry out before we can flow in the blessing. Don't, don't forget, it's not just name it and claim it. You need to fulfill some responsibilities. I let the redeemed of the law. You must first be redeemed. So today we want to look at obedience precedes blessings. Obedience precedes blessings. In Isaiah 1 verse 19, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. In Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 2, Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. You see, God pays attention to details. God wants us to observe, to obey all, not few, not some, all his commandments, which he commands us. Now, if you listen and obey God, these blessings shall be yours. Now, look at the blessings and let me read them to you. You know, say blessing. That's a prescription from verse 3. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, and the increase of your earth, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall, shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. I hope you are saying amen. Then from verse 7, the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessings on you in your storehouses and in all, and in all to which you set your hand. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, then all peoples of the earth shall see you, shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. From verses 11 to 13. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and in the produce of your ground, in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens to give the rain to your land in a season and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. If you eat the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to obey them. You see, obedience may be tough, but guarantees blessing. Obedience entitles us to God's blessing. Say blessing after your obedience is fulfilled. Thank you.